Okay, so today I'd like to talk to you all about a critical component to your ability to move effectively through the world. So what is this critical component that we use every single day and that is coded by our brain during every waking moment? Allocentric headings. So your ability to effectively use allocentric headings is related to your sense of direction and ultimately to your effective ability to plan and execute routes in the environment. Now, some of you might be asking, what are allocentric headings? And that's right, allocentric headings are critical to our every day experience of the world, and yet most people don't even know what they are. So let me explain. So as we travel through the environment, or when rats travel through a maze, the, our facing direction can be coded relative to our body in terms of left, right, front, back, but it can also be coded relative to the environment, say towards a note landmark or away from one. And so allocentric headings are facing directions that are really coded relative to the environment, like cardinal directions, and they're coded using head direction cells. And so allocentric headings are critical to our navigation because they allow us to know how our bodies are related to the environment, which helps us to remain oriented in spaces, such as our campus. So my dissertation research has revealed three main results. Individuals differ in their ability to identify allocentric headings. Individuals differ in the strategies they use to conceptualize allocentric headings. And as well, some strategies work better than others. So if you have a good sense of direction, chances are you're really good at identifying allocentric headings. But if you have a poor sense of direction, chances are you struggle. So when I showed photographs of the UCSB campus to individuals, I found that some individuals tended to relate these allocentric headings to their own bodies, say, that photograph is facing towards my right, whereas others tended to relate these allocentric headings to the environment, say, that photograph was facing towards the mountains. And so people who use this allocentric strategy to figure out allocentric headings actually tended to do better. But what's interesting about this is that if you use allocentric strategy, it actually helps and improves your performance regardless of your sense of direction. And so from neuroscientific research, we've learned that allocentric headings are coded in the presubliculum. But it's unknown how strategy differences and differences in sense of direction actually change the coding of these signals in the brain. And so right now I'm actually conducting an fMRI experiment to determine how strategy differences and differences between individuals are coded in the brain when you think about allocentric headings. Thank you very much. <laughs>